Hi everyone, I'm Miss Lydia from the Boston Library. Thank you so much for joining me for our Craft Friday project. Today we are going to be using some old scratched vinyl records to create some freeform bowls. This one you can see is very freeform. You can melt these either in the oven or with boiling water. So obviously you're working with heat, you want to be very careful with that. Um, but the easiest way is to do it with boiling water. If you do end up heating it in the oven, um, look up some instructions on that. You do want to be careful with the venting because it does let off a bit of, of odor um, and you want to keep it at a very low, low heat and don't let it be in the oven for very long, um, usually five minutes tops um, on that. Um, but I'm going to be using the boiling water method. So the easiest way to do this is to take one of the thinner vinyl records. So this one is very flexible. This one you can see is quite a bit thicker. It doesn't have the flex in the vinyl. It's a little harder to melt which is why it ended up looking rather uh, freeform. This one is a lot thinner, so it should melt a whole lot easier. What I'm going to do is I have my water boiling right here, and then I have a bowl about the size that I want this bowl to be. So I'm going to set that down on top, center it over top of my bowl. I want to make sure that it's in a spot where I'm not going to spill any water, so I'm using the side of the sink where it'll drain directly into the sink. And then I'm going to take my boiling water, and you want to be very careful that you don't burn yourself. So you're just going to pour a little bit of it over the corners. And you can see it's already starting to melt a little bit. So you can kind of focus on an area and then gently push it down. And you're going to need a fair amount of boiling water to do this too, to get it into the form that you want. And you can see my back end is already starting to tip down. Basically just going to keep working my way around that, letting it melt. And then as you get closer to your hand, you want to make sure that you're not pouring any boiling water on your hand gently push that down and start to shape it a little bit more the way you want it to work your way around now depending on what look you want you can stop right here just give it a second to cool it'll harden pretty quickly and that could be your bowl that's totally reasonable if you want to keep going, just boil some more water, continue to pour, continue to gently shape it. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. So you can see I focused on pushing in the corners. So as I melted it initially, it kind of came to four points. And then what I did was I focused the boiling water on those four points. And then as I set my kettle down, let it cool just ever so slightly and then push that corner down. And that's what I did around all four corners there. And then that's what my final bowl ends up looking like. Now these are really cool. You can paint them. You can leave them like they are. I think they look pretty cool with the black. I would say if you're going to be storing any food in it, I wouldn't, um, obviously you don't want to be eating directly out of it. If you are even going to store any kind of candy or anything like that in it, coat it with a food safe coating, either a, a Mod Podge, food safe Mod Podge of some sort, um, because it is old vinyl. So you don't want it sitting right up against anything that you're going to be eating. Also remember that there is a hole at the bottom. So if you're going to be storing anything inside of this that might fall through that hole, you can either use some clay, fill that in, or use a, even a piece of tape to cover that so that it doesn't fall through. It's a really cool decorative project. Um, it's really easy. Just be careful that you don't burn yourself on that hot water. You can continue to melt this and, and shape it as much as you want. I like it at about this stage because I think it kind of looks like a flower, but it still has that freeform kind of melted look. Um, but you can get as, as intricate as you want. Sometimes you can fold and you can crimp the edges too. 
Um, that's a little easier to do if you're using the oven technique, but I don't like the, the odor that comes off of that. I don't think it's, it's great to be breathing in, so I, that's why I'm going with the boiling water method. If you have any questions, any comments, um, please add those below. We hope you enjoyed this week's project and we will see you next week for another.